Hagen studies the resilience of coupled human environment systems in the face of uncertainties associated with globalization and climate change. His fun fact, he is an avid novel reader and also loves teaching and interacting with students. He teaches a course at the EPICS Service Learning Design Program at Purdue, and he has already promised his students, who are probably watching right now, that he will buy pizzas for the entire class if he wins any prizes tonight. So he has his students rooting for him. Anything for food, right? The title of his talk is, It Will Never Happen Again, The Myth of Disaster Immunity. It will never happen again. This is what the governor of Louisiana said in 1967 when Hurricane Betsy pummeled New Orleans and he pledged that nothing like this will ever happen in his state again. But almost exactly 40 years later, while most people couldn't even remember Betsy, it happened again. And Hurricane Katrina brought even greater destruction to the city and killed almost 2,000 people. But Louisiana's forgetfulness, although unfortunate, wasn't an exception. It's actually a very common phenomenon around the world where communities gradually forget a disaster and become even more vulnerable to the future ones. So how can we resist against this gradual decay of social awareness over generations, especially in the face of climate change? In the past couple of years, answering this question has been the central objective of my research. And in order to do so, I've developed a novel methodology by combining online crowdsourcing and human behavioral experiment. More specifically, I've created a simulated environment consists of hundreds of chains of small virtual societies that can communicate with each other. And then many groups of human subjects from all over the US are being recruited to occupy a role in these generations of micro societies so that I can investigate their individual and collective actions on a mass scale. Through these experiments, I'm providing empirical evidence for a phenomenon that is quite paradoxical. We always build huge structures such as levees to protect us against natural disasters. But what if I tell you these structures themselves can make us even more vulnerable? How? Because they can give us a false sense of security by preventing us from experiencing a smaller events that are actually critical for a sustainable remembrance. And that's what exactly happened in New Orleans. In my research, I'm showing to survive the uncertainties of climate change, we cannot solely rely on a centralized physical infrastructure, and we have to shift to more adaptive ones that accounts for human actions inside those systems. And that's why, through the result of my PhD, I'm hoping to provide design principles for our disaster policy and management so that next time, Rather than saying it will never happen again, we would effectively remind ourselves that it can happen again. And it's better to be prepared for it. Thank you. <laughs>